What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video and today we've got another quiz going for you. Can you name the top five passers by team? I think this one's going to be fairly on the easier side for some of them as far as guaranteed points go. Um, but there's 160 names on here. It's the top five passers all time. And for some of the newer franchises like the Texans, like the Ravens, like the Panthers, like the Jags could be a little bit tougher or maybe that would even make them easier because it happened in a shorter span. I can remember more but we have 15 minutes to get 160 this was sent to me by mason shout out to you mason thank you for sending that quiz to me if you guys want to do any of these quizzes uh search at bengal designs quiz and if you want to send me a quiz to do at bengal designs make sure quiz is in the tweet and the link of course and uh, follow me on twitter and i will uh, consider doing it if i see it when i'm looking to do quizzes for videos so this one could be kind of tough for to like to get all of them but Definitely uh, some higher guaranteed points up on here. 160 yet, 15 minutes. Let's get after it. Patriots, Tom Brady, Drew Bledsoe. He also comes up for the Bills. Maybe even, nope, not the Cowboys. Um, this is where it gets tougher. Jim Plunkett. Plunkett comes up for the Raiders and nowhere else. I just don't really know a ton about, like, 80s football and especially not the Patriots the Patriots to me basically started in 1990 like they were so bad prior to that and I just like don't know who they would have had I'm gonna move on we only have 15 minutes I mean that seems like a lot of time but it can go like fast when you're trying to think of these teams uh, might even end up giving up early if it comes to that but let's get um Jim Kelly for the Bills and then already I don't know any of them underneath that I know 2009 to 2012 is gonna be uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick but 1973 to 1984, and that's a lot of yards. It's like 26,000 yards. I have no idea who that is. 62 to 69. I don't know who these Bills QBs would be. Dolphins, let's get Dan Marino. Let's get Bob Greasy. Let's get Ryan Tannehill. Um, Chad Pennington. Oh, Chad Pennington for the Jets. I mean, that was clear. Uh, Jay Fiedler. Jay Fiedler's number four. Who's 08 to 11? That one should be up. Chad Henney? Chad Henney. There we go. Get him for the Jaguars as well. Jets, Joe Namath. 84 to 92 for the Jets. I know Boomer Esiason was on the Jets for a minute. He's going to be more likely to come up for the Bengals. We're going to type him anyway. He's on the Bengals um, in the second slot. 76 to 83. Oh, Ken O'Brien's going to be 84 to 92. Uh, and then the bottom slot's probably Vinny Testaverde. Who comes up for multiple teams? The Ravens, that was an obvious one, and the Bucks. I guess I wouldn't have thought Vinny Testaverde is the Bucks' all-time leading passer, but another newer franchise, I guess, because they started in 1984. I want to say 83, maybe. Who's their middle one? 76 to 83 before Ken O'Brien. Don't know. We're gonna move on to the Steelers. We'll get Big Ben. We'll get Terry Bradshaw. We'll get. Was Tommy Maddox on this team? I feel like he was on the Steelers for some reason. Dude, the Steelers are a tough one for me. Because they're another team where, like, I just don't remember their their quarterbacks in between Big Ben and Terry Bradshaw. Because um, they had kind of a lot in, the, in this 90s era. I mean, 30,000 yards between three different players between 86 and 95. That's tough. I'm not coming up with it. Ravens, we're going to get Flacco. We'll get McNair. McNair is not number two. Is that Kyle Bowler? Oh, Kyle Bowler is number two. That's disgusting. And then 1999 to 2000, that's one year. 3,700 yards. Well, that's two years, but like, as not good or backup. I almost feel like Steve Berline played on the Ravens for a minute. We, okay, he played. We got him for the Panthers. Was Mark Burnell on the Ravens for a minute? I don't think so. Obviously, he comes up for the Jaguars, but... I feel like he was on the he was on the Redskins for sure for a minute. But he's just not going to pop up for their all time passing. Bengals will move to, uh, and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of these Bengals and people are going to be like, "Oh, Bengals fan, can't wait." Um, I better get all the Giants, man. Uh, Bengals, we're going to get. Why can I not get this? Uh, Ken Anderson, Andy Dalton, Carson Palmer, Achilles Smith. Ooh, it's not Achilles Smith. We get Alex Smith for the Chiefs. I don't know who that's going to be if that's not Achilles Smith. 
Move on to the Browns. Let's get um, Bernie Kosar. Should be number one. He's not. He's 85 to 93. Brian Sype. He won an MVP. And I think maybe in 83 for the Browns. 82. Something like that. 46 to 95 is Otto Graham. 62 to 68. I don't know. Is 1999 to 03 Tim Couch? That's so sad. 62 to 68 for the Browns. I don't know. Jaguars. I'm surprised. Oh, Chad Henney is on there, actually. David Garrard. Byron Leftwich is going to be fourth. Who's 2014? 2014. Like, the only name popping into my head right now is Blake Bortles. Oh, it is going to be Blake Bortles. Oh, my goodness. He was a 2014 draft. That feels like so long ago. Uh, Titans will get Warren Moon, pretty obviously, with the Oilers. Oh, I'm blanking hard on on uh, Oilers. Mariota. 71 to 79. I mean, they, these are big-time players. I just can't think of Oilers QBs. Who was handing the ball off to Earl Campbell in the 70s? I mean, that's that's really the answer there. We'll move to the Colts. Peyton Manning. We only have 10 minutes to go. I got to hurry up. Uh, Johnny Unitas. Andrew Luck. Jim Harbaugh is going to be the bottom one. He's not. Uh, not Jeff George either. How is Jeff George nowhere on this list, by the way? Colts 73 to 81. And 80, 86 to 93, I feel like I'd be able to get. We're going to move on because I definitely can't. Let's get David Carr. We also get Derek Carr for the Raiders. 07 to 2013. Oh, I was thinking the Raiders or something. Like, who would that be? Texans 07 to 2013. Matt Schaub. 06 to 08. Is TJ Yates going to be that one? No. Uh, Case Keenum's going to be on there. Is he not? Didn't he have a good season with the Texans? Maybe not. Oh, jeez. Uh, Tom Savage. When was this quiz made, by the way? Because, like, Deshaun Watson would be on there. When was this made? I don't know. Because it's, it's clearly missing Deshaun Watson. He is absolutely on there for the Texans. So that's extremely frustrating. I cannot think of who those other ones would be. The Texans, that's another, it's tricky because these are not good players for them. I just can't think of who the Texans have had at quarterback. 2016 and 2015, I feel like they would be fairly obvious. I'm, I'm spending too much time on them. Let's go to the Chiefs. Let's get Len Dawson. Let's get Trent Green. Let's get Steve DeBerg, maybe. It's a long shot. Steve DeBerg's on there. I thought he was going to be maybe, he played with a, like a nail out of his finger in a playoff game it was crazy 80 to 88 i don't know i don't know who the chiefs quarterback would have been in the 80s really chargers i mean philip rivers is thrown for fifty thousand yards it's insane we'll get uh drew Brees gonna be the bottom one you also get him for the saints clearly chargers 73 to 87 i very much know why am i not thinking of it it's dan fouts 62 to 72 i also feel like i should be able to come up with chargers are a weird one though they like haven't had a ton of uh great qbs in their history i mean maybe they have is three a lot i feel like that is kind of uh, i had a speed up ken stabler for the raiders uh daryl la monica 67 to 60 or 74 67 to 74 1999 to 2004 is rich gannon okay got the raiders done broncos um Elway should be the top one. And then, why can I not type Elway? Elway and then Jake Plummer. 77 to 82. There's no way. I only have six and a half minutes. We got to speed this up. Eagles. We're going to get, well, we already have typed LaMonica. Jaws is going to be on there. Ron Jaworski. Donovan McNabb. Randall Cunningham. Uh, was it Sonny Jorgensen who played on this team as well as the Redskins? He's just Redskins. Who was, uh, not John Hadel. Hadel might be on this list. He's the other one for the Chargers. Ah, I don't know why. I, I didn't look at that well enough. Um, who was the other one for the Eagles that played? I, I think of him on another team. 
I mean, Norm Van Brocklin might be on this list there. He's on the Rams. I feel like I can get one of those other Eagles. 64 to 70, I absolutely know. I don't know why I can't come up with it. Cowboys, Staubach is not going to be number one. Romo is. Underneath him, Aikman, Danny White, and then 60 to 68. I just definitely don't know who the quarterback was um, before Staubach. I just don't know. Redskins. We're going to get... Come on. Do not blank now. Redskins. You know the answer. Doug Williams might be on here. He's on there for the Bucks. Redskins. Mark Rippon. He's the bottom one. Uh, Jason Campbell. Not on there. Robert Griffin III. Not on there. Who's 2012 to 2017? Kirk Cousins. 37 to 52. Sammy Baugh. 74 to 85. All-time leading pass. Joe Theismann. Why am I blanking? Giants. Phil Sims under Eli. Uh, I know Charlie Connerly is in there. He's got to be. He is. Fran Tarkenton's going to be the bottom one. And then Car Frank Tarkenton of the Vikings? No, not Frank. Fran. Kerry Collins is the other one. All right. Killed the Giants. Vikings. Jesus Christ. Dante Culpepper. That's Culpepper. Dante Culpepper. Uh, 77 to 89. I mean, can I not come up with that? 94 to 06 as well. That's a long time, but not really playing a lot. I'm going to move on. Lion, I got to get the top one. I'm going to go, go trying to get the top one. Rodgers as well. Bears. Bears I can get easy. Sid, Sid Luckman. Jay Cutler. Uh, Jim McMahon. 94 to 98. Jim Harbaugh. Oh, no. Did I... I already guessed Jim Harbaugh for the Colts, maybe? He's not the Bucks or the Bears. Oh, Jesus. Um, Panthers, we're going to get the Loam, Newton, 01 to 06. Is that Chris Weinke? The Heisman winner. He spent a while uh, in the minor leagues and then, as an older man, <laughs> went and won the Heisman, obviously, against college kids. Falcons, Matt Ryan, Jeff George. I feel like we already guessed him. How is he not on there? Uh, Michael Vick, Matt Ryan. I already guessed Matt Ryan. Am I brain dead? I'm. I'm panicking under pressure is what's happening falcons man the falcons just haven't had good qbs either 9701 i feel like i could get we're gonna move on rams we're gonna get mark bulger we're gonna get kurt warner how is he number that's so crazy 86 to 90 who is the all-time leading passer for the rams aaron brooks for the saints by the way it's gonna be on there um i feel like we gotta move on to the seahawks let's get russell wilson Let's get Matt Hasselbeck. Let's get Dave Craig. Let's get Rick Mir. 76 to 84. Jim Everett's going to be for the Rams, by the way. He's going to be the all-time leading passer for the Rams. Let's go, baby. And he's on the Saints, too. I actually didn't know that. Cardinals. I've already guessed Jake Plummer. Neil Lomax is going to be the second one. Who is the all-time leading passer for the Cardinals? 66 to 83? Oh my goodness. I, I, mean, I don't know. We're going to have to... I want to get the Bucks. Jameis Winston. I can get so many more than this, man. Josh Freeman. Steve Young's going to be on this list for the 49ers. Joe Montana. Oh, you know who also played for the 49ers? And the Giants? Y.A. freaking tittle, baby. I got excited for that one. Number five on the list is Jeff Garcia is going to be on this list at four. I type Garcia, please. 57 to 73. How am I missing so many? Let's go to the Packers. I know Lynn Dickey's going to be on this list. I know Bart Starr is going to be on this list. 50 to 56. All I can think of is Paul Horning, but he played running back. So, not a great guess. Lions, we know Bobby Lane should be on here from taking a quiz recently. We know that no other Lions quarterbacks are really particularly relevant. Um... Dude, how do I not know the Cardinals' all-time leading passer? We got 120 out of 160. I mean, is that as much as I can do? How can I not get more for the Texans? Why do I feel like Matt Castle played for them? I mean, I just, I just don't remember. Oh, no. I mean, I just thought of Oliver Luck for the Titans, trying to think of quarterbacks. 
But he also... He backed up Archie Manning, who was there, but... Or was it Archie Manning even on the Titans for a minute? Or the Oilers for a minute? I feel like he was. I know he's mostly mostly a Saint. In, in which case, who am I thinking of? Who did he back up? I don't I don't know. Oh, this is frustrating. Because I know I'm going to see names, especially for the Texans that I absolutely recognize. The fact that I can't get 2016 and 2015 Texans is embarrassing for me. I know I know more. Let's try to think for a second. Who else would be on here? Cardinals. I mean, that's such a long career with the Cardinals. Who would their number one all-time passer be? I just don't know. I'm trying to think of like quarterbacks I know from like the 60s and 70s. Hadel, LaMonica. I'm missing someone really obvious. I'm missing one that has played for the Eagles. I absolutely know 64 to 70, and I'm, I'm not going to get it. 120 out of, out of 160. That's frustrating. Oh, actually, no. I, I wouldn't come up with Tommy. Roman Gabriel. That's the one. That's the one who played for the Eagles as well. I don't know how I can't remember him. Okay, so let's see who I missed. Uh, I missed some very, very gettable ones. I, I got 75%. Average score is 76. I got less than average. Oh, my God. Uh, could I have gotten any of these for the Patriots? Maybe Tony Eason. I, I mean, he was in that 83 draft as a first rounder. I can't believe I missed that. Um, Neil O'Donnell, I could have come up with. I, dude, I keep always forgetting Cordell Stewart's name for some reason, even though he's super memorable. And I always think Seneca Wallace, who is, was clearly not any good. Jeff Blake for the Bengals is the other one. That was that one I could have come up with probably. Tony Banks, I don't know who that is. Um, George Blanda for the Oilers. Ah, Dan Pastorini's a name I know. Um, I wouldn't have gotten any more for the Colts. I'm actually, I'm, I'm fine with that. Sage Rosenfels, Brock Osweiler, and Brian Hoyer. Those ones are very gettable. Maybe not Sage Rosenfels. I, I remember him, but like not there. I remember him as like just a career backup. Bill Kenny, I don't know who that is. Stan Humphreys, I don't know who that is. Craig Morton, don't know who that is. Norman Sneed, maybe gettable. Tom, probably not. Tommy Thompson, Don Meredith for the Cowboys. Tommy Kramer is someone I always forget about. Brad Johnson. Forgot he was with the Vikings there for a minute. Um, I should have guessed him for the Bucks, but I don't know how I didn't get 1994 to 1999 Bucks because that was so obviously Trent Dilfer. Like, that's not even funny. Like, that's so obviously Trent Dilfer. John Brody's another gettable name from, like, that 60s era. Jim Zorn, I forget about. Roman Gabriel, I absolutely 100% should have come up with. I blanked. Jim Hart is always a name I forget. I honestly don't think I did that badly on this. But, I mean, we got three-fourths. We got worse than average. Frustrating. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.